It is really an honor and a privilege to be able to, to join you here tonight for this exciting premiere. Uh, this is the first flight that I've taken since we all locked down, and I think it's fitting to be back in a place where I have lived and, t and taught for many years and where my son was born. I have a Hoosier in the house, so I'm very happy to be here tonight. Um, when Bella contacted me in July of last year um, about the idea of writing a piece um, for her. She was, she's in the process of collecting six movements from six living composers. Um, and the first movement was written by Joan Tower. Um, I thought, oh wow, this would be an amazing opportunity to get to write for a fabulous and engaged artist. Um, so, and she wanted, she, she asked for two things. This, this is not in the notes. She asked, one, that it be based on some Bach, and two, that it be based on Isai. <laughs> so I happen to love both Bach and Isai, so I, of course I jumped at the chance and said, I will do it with pleasure. Thank you. And also, YCA, Young Concert Artist, had a Keep the Artist Working Fund that was able to support this project. So that was very exciting to be able to do something both with Bella and with Young Concert Artist, which, which I was also with in the early days. So um, I started thinking about this work, and um, it actually came in A minor, naturally. And I hadn't even started looking at the protein gene genome of the COVID-19 virus yet, but I just heard A minor with a lot of drama um, because we were living through a dramatic time. Um, and then as I continued to read about the virus and think about it, because after all, if we all kind of read and thought about it and listened to the science and just tried to figure it out, I knew that together as a species, humanity on Earth, that we were going to find a way. Um, I thought, well, maybe I should think about a way of understanding or conveying the sequencing of the virus so that we can understand it a little bit better and possibly uh, come up with some kind of cure. Or even just a deeper understanding is better than no understanding. So um, I saw this article again in the New York Times and uh, written by Carl Zimmer, and he had the, the protein sequences, the A, C, G, and the U, uh, written out there. And I thought, wow, this would really fit into an, a pattern of some sort. And, and it really interrupts into the piece. So when you hear the beginning, it's kind of dramatic, A minor, and then all of a sudden, out of this kind of slow place of, and then deep, the deepest kind of, oh no, what's coming kind of feeling that we, one could get on the violin and, and Bella does it really well. The code interrupts quickly. Um, and then it goes back into a dreamy place um, and uh, kind of a despairing place. And then in comes the code, which is a lot of fast passage work. Um, I was just speaking with a geneticist who happens to be in the audience uh, before coming up. And he told me that many viral, virus, viral codes will end with A's. Uh, just kind of, that's the end of the messaging, um, just the way that they kind of fade away and they stop, I guess, giving information to do anything. And uh, COVID-19 ends with 33 A's. So when you hear the same note in different ranges, um, you'll know that we're close to the end. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just so excited to be able to share this work with you and very excited to hear Bella Ristova perform it. Thank you so much.